I'm Dr. Brent Hurst. I'm an orthodontist here in Carlsbad, California. My office is located just down the street from city offices across the street from Buena Vista Elementary where the soccer fields are if you guys have ever played soccer there. I'm here to talk to you today about National Dental Health Month or brushing your teeth and taking good care of them. Um, normally I would come into your classrooms and speak with you guys face to face and, and share some examples and let you guys touch some things and, and whatnot but unfortunately due to COVID, I'm not able to come into your classroom, so I'm coming to you today from the magic of YouTube. So anyways, we're going to talk about a couple of things today. We're going to talk about our teeth, why they're important, um, what kinds of teeth we have, um, what happens if we don't take good care of them, how you get a cavity, um, some things you can do to prevent getting cavities, and then lastly, I'm going to show you guys how to brush your teeth and give you a little take-home kit so you can uh, do this at home. So anyways, let's talk about about teeth, why, why do we have teeth? What's important about them? Why, what's the big deal? Um, well, we have teeth mainly for three main reasons. First biggest, number one reason, is so that we can, we can chew, right? You have to have teeth so you can eat. Um, try to imagine chewing your food without your teeth ever touching. It'd be kind of hard. You have to eat lots of soft stuff, some applesauce or yogurt. It might not be that, that great, okay? Um, second reason why we have teeth is so that we can talk. Think about talking without touching your, your tongue touching your teeth. Try to say 33 without your tongue touching your teeth. 33, it'd be kind of hard, right? Teeth help us enunciate and, and speak clearly, so they're important for that. And then the third reason why we have teeth is so that we can smile, so that we, it's for appearance. It's how people look at us and judge us. Usually in the movies, the good guys have nice, straight, white teeth. The bad guys, eh, not so much, usually. Um, so it's, it's, it's way, the way we appear does affect the way people view us and the way they, they look at us. So we have different kinds of teeth, so let's talk about that. We have, we have three main kinds of teeth. We have our front teeth, which are incisors, and those are meant to cut or incise or cut your food. So think of like eating like a burrito or like a tortilla and trying to cut it with your front teeth or some stringy, cheesy pizza. You want to be able to cut it with your front teeth. Um, Incisors work like scissors, so like this, where they cut and the blades overlap. They don't, um, they don't hit on the edges. They, they overlap, they cut, they shear. So those are incisors. The next kind of teeth we have are canines. And no, not those canines, but the canines that are on the corner of your mouth. Okay, those are meant for piercing food. So if you had like a, like a sandwich or a piece of pizza and you bit it and you wanted to tear it, those are the ones that kind of pierce and, and hold it so you can rip it and tear it. All right, and then the third and last kind of teeth that we have are our molars, which are in the back. Those are the ones that we use to, to chew things up, to, to grind things down and chew them up so that you can, you can swallow it. Um, all right, let's talk about different kinds of teeth and what they do, or different animals and what kind of teeth they have. So my son has always liked alligators, so his grandma brought him this alligator head, and yes, that is a real alligator head and they have very sharp teeth, as you can see. They're very pointy. They do not have any flat molar teeth, and they don't have any front incisor teeth. They just have these pointy canine type teeth, all right? Now, alligators have a unique feature about them. They always have exactly the same number of teeth, even when they're little baby gators, even when they get to be great big giant gators, okay? They always have the same number of teeth, and that number is 80 teeth, all right? Now, gators, they don't, well, what do you think gators eat? Gators, gators eat meat, right? They, they eat fish, they'll eat birds, they'll eat snakes, whatever they can find, turtles, um, whatever they can find, they'll eat. Even, even little baby alligators eat insects, right? These teeth are good for piercing and tearing, but they're not great for chewing. So uh, do alligators chew their food? No, they don't. Alligators pierce it, they rip off a piece, and they swallow it whole. They don't bother to they don't bother to chew, all right. So what do you think happens if an alligator loses a tooth, or does or does an alligator even bother to brush his teeth? Well, alligators don't brush their teeth. Sometimes they'll have birds that'll come pick the food out of their teeth, um, but if they lose a tooth, they just grow a new one. Okay, they always get new teeth throughout their whole lifetime. As they as they get bigger, they get bigger and bigger and bigger teeth, right? So alligators always have 80 teeth, and they're only one kind of teeth. They're just meant for for piercing and tearing, and, and then they swallow their food. They don't bother to chew, all right? This is another animal. 
I'm gonna give you guys a close up so you can see that. This is another kind of animal, and you can see the teeth are very flat. They're very flat, like this. There's there's no there's no sharp piercing things like the gator. They don't look like the gator, right? They're they're flat. Okay, so these flat ones are good for chewing. These these come from a very common animal that you may have seen in a pasture by a barn on the side of the road. Milk. Does milk come from? It comes from cows, right? So these are flat teeth, and what do cows eat? Cows, cows eat grass, right? They eat plants. So gators are carnivores, they eat meat. Cows are herbivores, or they eat plants, right? All right, so what, what do we eat? We, we, we eat both, right? If you're like my kids, you probably like chicken nuggets and fries. Chicken comes from meat. French fries come from plants. So we eat both, we're omnivores, okay? Can you guys think of another animal that eats both plants and meat? And I'll give you a hint. It's found on our state flag of California. All right, yeah, a grizzly bear, right? A grizzly bear eats meat if it can find it, like fish or, or, or deer or whatever it can find. Um, and sometimes they'll eat berries and plants too. So they eat both, they're just like us, all right? All right, now we talked about how the alligator, he gets new teeth throughout his whole lifetime, but what about us? How many, how many teeth do we get? Well, we get two sets, right? Right now, a lot of you guys have baby teeth and are losing some of your front baby teeth. Now you're getting what we call permanent teeth. We start off with 20 baby teeth, and then as our head gets bigger, we need bigger teeth. So we get our permanent teeth in. Usually you start getting your first ones around like six, and you get like your last ones in around like 12, somewhere in there. Um, every kid's different, but you, once you get your permanent teeth, you don't get any more. You're not like the alligator. You don't just get a new one if something happens to it. So unlike the alligator, you're not gonna have birds come pick food out of your teeth, so you're gonna have to brush them. All right, so one more thing we should talk about is how you get cavities, right? Who's ever had a cavity? It's not fun, right? Sometimes you guys go to the dentist and they have to give you a, a shot to make you numb and it's not fun and it hurts. And then sometimes you guys get like a silver cap over your tooth, like a, like a pirate tooth, right? So um, not fun, you don't wanna get cavities. So how do we get cavities? Cavities happen when we don't brush our teeth and we leave a little bit of food on our teeth and then there's bacteria in our mouth. Now you're supposed to have the bacteria in your mouth, but the bacteria in your mouth, they eat the food and then they poop acid on your teeth. Ew, it's gross, right? Um, what it does is it, it takes that food and it breaks it down and then the, the bacteria makes acid and, it, and that gets on your tooth and that eats a hole in your tooth, all right? Um, one of the ways you can prevent that is to brush and get all the food off your teeth. Another way you make your teeth stronger and tougher and harder is to use fluoride. So we have fluoride in our toothpaste and, and other things. But anyways, we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the laboratory, and uh, we're gonna go to my house, my kitchen, and we're gonna do some experiments. I'm gonna take uh, some eggs, and we're gonna soak them in some different acidic uh, solutions. We're gonna put one in a can of Coca-Cola. We're gonna put one in some vinegar, and we're gonna have one that we're not gonna do anything to, just to see what happens, so we can compare. So let's let's go to the laboratory right now. And we're gonna hard boil three eggs, and uh, gonna do some tests on them, see how different acids affect the shells, um, just like acids would affect the strength of your teeth. Okay, we've got our hard boiled eggs. We're gonna put one into Coca-Cola, one into vinegar, and let them soak overnight and see what it does to the shells. Both Coke and vinegar are very acidic, just like the plaque and bacteria on your teeth. Let's see what okay, happens. Okay, here we are. It's been a day now that the eggs, hard boiled eggs have sat in the vinegar and the Coca-Cola, and then the, this one's our control. So I'm gonna pull them out. I'm gonna let my daughter who's in elementary school touch them and she's gonna tell us how they feel. So let's start with a hard boiled egg. Go ahead and touch that one. Tell us how that feels. Like an egg. Still hard, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, pull out the vinegar one. And tell me how that one feels. Um, very um, squishy and slimy. Yeah, is it soft? Yeah. Yeah, all right, let's pull out the one in the Coca-Cola. Let's see how that one feels. Um, it's Is it a bit, still hard? It's pretty hard. It's like 
Yeah, it's still hard, but it did turn brown. Turn brown, okay. Maybe we should let the Coca-Cola one sit for another day. Let's put it back in and let's see if it sits there for two days, what happens to it, if it goes soft like the vinegar. All right, now it's been two days since the eggs have been in the Coke and the vinegar, and then there's our control. Um, let's see what happens to the Coke one. We know the vinegar one was pretty much dissolved. It has almost no shell left, but let's see what this Coke one does. Yeah, looks like it's starting to break it down a little bit, but shell looks still pretty hard. Yep, still pretty hard. Uh, the vinegar one was pretty much gone after like eight hours. The shell is just almost all dissolved. There's the one part where it floated and didn't dissolve it right there. But everywhere else, you can see it's just it's just rubber. The shell is gone. Um, so yeah, let's put the Coke one back in. Let's let it go another day and just see what happens. Um, but again, it's starting to break it down, just not completely. Okay, now it's been about eight, nine, maybe 10 days that the egg has been in the Coke. Let's see what that looks like. So here we go. Still looks pretty brown. Let's see how hard it is. All right, it's hard. It hasn't completely dissolved it. You can feel it's it's turned it more gel-like and it's definitely stained it, but it hasn't destroyed it. So maybe Coke's not quite as bad as the vinegar, but definitely still bad for your teeth. No one wants teeth that look like that. Ew. So let's talk about brushing our teeth. The way you brush your teeth um, and you guys may have seen this or been taught this elsewhere. I'm gonna use my friend, Mr. Mr. Alligator here to help us. And we're gonna use this toothbrush, but he's got uh, fake human teeth in there. Um, but the way you brush them is you gotta brush on the outsides, you gotta brush on the insides, and then you gotta brush the tops. So what you do is you take your toothbrush, a little toothpaste, you don't need a lot, but you brush and you make little circles like this. And then you make little circles on the inside and then you brush the, 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 the tops in the back, right? And you wanna get all the way around. Um, a good question people often ask is, how long do I have to brush? And the answer is, you need to brush for two minutes, twice a day. So two minutes, twice a day, right? As long as you brush two minutes, twice a day, you should be good, all right? However, most people get cavities not on the outside of their teeth, not on the inside, but they get them in between their teeth, where their teeth meet. So how do we how do we get rid of the, the food and stuff in between our teeth? All right, that's where it comes into dental flossing. So let me show you how that works. All right, let's talk about flossing. The way you can floss, or as we saw, you can't really brush in between your teeth. You can get on the outside, you can get on the inside, you can get on the tops, but you really can't get in between. So let's talk about how do you floss. So you wrap the floss around your fingers Kind of like this. I'm using some yarn just so you guys can see a little better. But you wrap around your fingers like that. And you can pull it tight. And then you can push it in between the teeth like that. And you go down one side and up the other. All right, so some kids like these little Y flossers that look like this. And it's just a little piece of plastic holds a piece of floss in between. And they're really handy because you can snap them in there really easy and rub it up and down the sides of each teeth, each tooth. And uh, it makes it really easy. All right, so. Thanks for watching my presentation. I hope you guys learned a few things. Before I go, I wanna let you know I got you guys um, a little gift or a little present you can take home. Um, I got your teacher a bag like this and inside this insulated grocery store bag that your teacher can keep, there are some little kits to hand out. In these little kits, there's some toothbrushes and some toothpaste and a, and a pen in there and a few other little things. Um, that way you guys will all have a fresh new toothbrush. Sometimes your toothbrushes get old and the bristles instead of straightening up start to splay out, they start to spread out like this and then they're not very good anymore. So having a new toothbrush is good. Remember you wanna brush your teeth at least twice a day for two minutes each time, okay? The fluoride in here, or the toothpaste has fluoride in it, the fluoride helps make your teeth stronger. Think of it as vitamins for your teeth. It makes them stronger, it makes them harder, it makes them more durable, it helps you prevent getting cavities. If you've ever had a cavity, you know it's not fun, so. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed my presentation and I uh, hope I get to come see you guys next year in person. We don't have to do this on uh, YouTube. All right, thanks. Have a good day. Bye-bye.